Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. We are one day closer to the weekend, and I hope you guys are just looking forward to that break. I know that I am to just sit back and enjoy some time with my family and celebrate our mom since it is Mother's Day on Sunday. Don't forget to celebrate your mom, you guys. You know, make sure you can at least tell her Happy Mother's Day. And since we're not in school and we weren't able to create anything for mom, make sure you make her a nice card or something and make sure she feels appreciated but um today we have our 12:30 google hangout like we always do um you have your writing this week i have so far um 12 kids have turned it in um so that's not even half yet so please make sure you're working on that and getting that completed reading today is the same passage as yesterday The only difference is the question. So let's look at those questions real quick when this loads. And we'll see. Okay, so the first page looks like this. Okay, it says read each sentence. Is the information from the first passage, the second passage, or both? So again, it's kind of like that Venn diagram that we did the other day on the first passage, except this time it's just separated into boxes. So you're going to read here. So Lucy still loves to dance. All right, and is that something that was said in the first passage, the second passage, or it was it said in both passages? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. All right, so you have to decide. Do all these little boxes? Okay, was does it come from the first passage, second, or both? Here it says read each mini passage. Okay, so like one mini passage, and match the passage to its point of view. So remember. First person, you're looking for the word I. It is told from the narrator's own perspective. That means they were there and they're telling exactly what they saw and how they experienced things. Third person is as if the person is telling the story of someone else. So maybe that they weren't there. Okay, maybe they heard the story from someone else and told it in their own point of view. Okay, they told it, they told somebody else's story. All right, so if it's first person, you're going to move the little arrow, and if it's third person, move the little arrow. All right, don't worry about it fitting perfectly. Just make sure it's pointing at the passage. All right, and that's all you have for today other than the writing, and then you obviously also have this gift for Miss Wade. I only have a couple people who have filled out the um, PowerPoint so far. So please go in and make sure you get this filled out for her. I want to send it to her next week. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you at 1230, but I hope you have a great day.